Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Going on to part two of Marcus Lowe Nine's question. He was looking earlier at the 35 millimeters versus the uh, 35 millimeter F2 Canon that he has. Um, you could see that in the earlier post if you check on the videos there. So his second part of his question was he's looking at basically a short range or mid range zoom, I should say, the Tamron 17 to 50 F2.8, or, or he's considering the Canon 17 to 55 F2.8 IS. Um, the Canon 7 or the Tamron 17 to 50 F2.8. I can't recommend it. I've had several copies of this lens. I've had, uh, let's see here, I've had three on the Nikon side and two on the Canon side. None of them I've been very happy with. Uh, all Predominantly the reason for that is it's, it's an F2.8 constant aperture lens. That's what you're paying for. You want to be able to use it at F2.8. None of the copies that I had were usable at F2.8. They were all soft and some extremely soft. The reason I had three copies with the uh, Nikon was I, I exchanged one, it was still soft, I sent it into Tamron, it came back soft, and on the Canon side, my first one was soft, I took it back, got another lens, again, unacceptably soft. So I just rule out the Canon 17-50 to f2.8 altogether. I know some people have had luck with it, but my own personal experience, five lenses, none of them satisfactory, so I'm going to say stay away from the Tamron. Now, Canon 17-55 to f2.8 IS can be a very nice lens. It is pricey. It's in the price range that an L lens should be uh, when you factor in the fact that it's not L lens build quality and there are known issues with the IS motor and the uh, focusing motor on this thing. So if you're willing to take the gamble on the quality control issues, it can be a very good lens. I have owned a copy of it. I got some fantastic photos from it. I was never satisfied with the fact that the build quality wasn't up to par for the price of the lens and the fact that I knew a lot of people having issues with the IS motor um, started to scare me and I sold it while it still worked because I didn't want to be left holding the bag on you know, a $1,200 lens, which is I think what I paid for at the time, might have even been more, that didn't work. So my recommendation here uh, is the Sigma 17-50 to F2.8 OS. That's the brand new Sigma, that's the OS version, that's the optical stabilized, that's the same type of stabilization as the IS or the VR on the Nikon and the Canon lenses. It is the sharpest lens, it beats the Canon version, it beats the Nikon version, uh, it's extremely sharp. Sharp. Tom Hogan is using this as his DX lens now. Um, very, very good lens. I own it in both mounts, I own it in Canon and I own it in Nikon, it's that good. I love it. I use it for almost all my photography now. It's always on my D7000. And um, very, very nice lens. Highly recommended. Good build quality. Here in Canada, 10-year warranty. It's an EX lens. And um, really good lens. So that's what I would recommend. Uh, if you want to keep the cost down, if you don't want to go all the way up to the OS lens, although I think it's only about 669 US the last time I checked. So it, it's not a bad price at all. Very good performing lens for the price. Um, but you can also look at the non-OS version. It's not the same optics. It's not just a question of adding OS and not adding OS. The OS version has been revamped. So the older version is very good, but it's not as sharp as the new version, and it doesn't have the OS. So you can look at that one too if price is an issue. Uh, so that's basically the way I would go on that there. My, my top recommendation for a DX lens right now, the best mid-range zoom available right now, is the Sigma 17-50 F2.8 OS. Very good lens, highly recommended. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Thanks for your questions there, Marcus. And uh, if you have any questions, folks, put them down below. I'll try to get to them. Uh, or you can write in info at artoftheimage.com. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back with some new video posts, some new articles, and we'll keep up to date with what's going on in the world of photography here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks.